Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this is a quick and easy guide on how to make sure that Windows 10 is fully up to date with security updates. Now, all you need to do is move your mouse over the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and then left click once then go up to the settings cog just up there and then you should see settings appear left click once and then you should get this screen appear and what you want to do is you want to move your mouse over update and security and again left click once now it will probably say check in for updates or if you see a button that says check for updates, move your mouse over it and left click once and let those little balls go from left to right on the screen. And then hopefully after a few minutes, it should say that it's downloading the updates. OK, so once it's finished downloading, there is a chance you might see this install now. You might not, but if you do, move your mouse over install now and left click once. So let this install. It might take some time. Just be patient with it. Once you see restart now, then just move your mouse over it, left click once and let the computer restart. Whilst it's restarting, it should install the updates. So once your computer's restarted, then what I want you to do is go back down to the start button again, left click once and then move your mouse over the settings cog, left click once. And then when this screen comes up once again, left click update and security. And then this time you should see up here, check for updates. Now, if when you first done this, you saw check for updates, then this is what I want you to do. Move your mouse over check for updates and left click once. And do this if you've already installed some updates. So click check for updates. It will say checking for updates. Now this might appear like it's not doing anything. You might get those little balls going across the screen for a little while. Just leave it, come back to it in a few minutes and uh, see if there are any updates to install. Now, sometimes if there are updates to install, it might automatically start downloading them and then updating them. Other times you might get this install now button come up. If you see the install now button, then like I did before, just move your mouse over it, left click once and then let it install. So as you can see, it's found some more updates updates. So again, let those download and let those install. Now you might find it might come up restart now, but if it doesn't, if it comes up check for updates, then just move your mouse over check for updates, left click once and just see if there's any more updates to be downloaded and installed. And if it just comes back to check for updates and you're up to date at the top there, then there probably isn't any more. But what would be a good idea is just to restart the computer. So shut this down by clicking on the cross. That's a left click in the top right hand corner of the screen. Close anything else down. Click on the start button just down there in the bottom left hand corner. Click on the little power icon and then actually click restart. Don't click shut down. Don't click sleep. Don't click lock. Click restart. That's a left click. Let the computer restart. And then once the computer's restarted, go down again to the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, left click once, go up to the settings cog, left click once, then move your mouse over update and security, left click once, and then just once more, move your mouse over check for updates and left click once. Let the little spinny balls go from left to right across the screen. This might go on for a little while, but just leave it and come back to it in a few minutes. And if here it says at the top of the screen, you're up to date, then that's fine. You are fully up to date. But what if you've had any problems during the update process? Now, what I would say is, first of all, again, restart the computer and try again. So click on the start button. That's a left click. Click on the power icon and actually click restart again. Don't click lock. Don't click sleep. Don't click shut down. They won't they won't fix any problems. Click on restart and then try it again. If that still doesn't work, then what you want to do is you want to be in this Windows update here. So if you're not there, then click on the start button, click on the settings cog and then click on update and security. And then on the left there, you want to click on troubleshoot. 
and then you want to click on additional troubleshooters. These are all left clicks. Then you want to move your mouse over Windows Update and click on that. That's again a left click and then left click run the troubleshooter. Now this will now go through and try and detect any problems it can find with Windows Update. So follow any instructions on the screen. If it can't find any problems or it can't fix the problems, then the best thing to do is to make a note of any error numbers you get along with any KB numbers of the update that you're trying to install. You can Google these for further advice on what to do next. Or if you've got a friend or a relative that's good with computers, then perhaps ask them for advice or take your computer to a computer shop to be checked out. I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help Help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.